Hey, what's up, everybody? Long time no see. It's Rick360 from Player2Reviews.com. Uh, today we're gonna look at Blossom Tales: The Sleeping King. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I hate comparing. I, I hate making this comparison all the time, but it's it's a top-down adventure game like uh, Zelda: a Link to the Past. Now you play as Lily. You can see here roaming around. This is a this is a teleporter. You can unlock stuff. Uh, different teleporters to teleport to so you can travel around the kingdom faster uh, As you can see I'm at the end of the I'm at the end of the game now, so I I have every area unlocked uh, Like yeah, a little inventory here. I mean you, you, like I said you got a lot of it's very much like Zelda link to the past um, I mean, you know you got the usual you got bombs you got a bow and arrow spin attack stupid ghosts these ghosts, you can't attack them head-on, you have to pretty much sneak attack them. They only come at you when your back is turned. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this, <laughs> like I, said, I beat it. It's a pretty fun game. It's not too long, it's maybe it's about 10 hours. Though there's still like quite a few more things for me to do, secret-wise, like finding the rest of my hearts and the rest of my energy bar and that. And uh, yeah, that this is another cool thing, like your bombs, your bow and arrow, all that crap. You don't need, uh, like, you don't need to keep picking them up. It's all, it's all powered by your energy bar. I gotta pull up my fire magic here. I gotta burn away this stuff. It, it's a cool game. There's a lot of little secrets and nooks and crannies to explore and whatnot. Uh, okay, yeah, anyway, I, I got, <laughs> I got distracted. I'm way off topic right now. Anyway, the game, <laughs> story-wise, the game is about, uh, Lily. Uh, she's a young girl. She always dreamed of being a knight of the rose. That's like the uh, best of the best knights here in the kingdom. And on the day that she was accepted into the order, the day she made it, she became an official, like apprentice knight, I suppose. the The king, the king was attacked by his evil wizard brother Crocus. He puts him under a sleeping spell. So your goal, your goal now is to travel around and collect the ingredients. You have to collect three. Like ing main ingredients for the stupid potion to revive them, and that's that's basically what sets off your whole adventure and everything. You gotta watch out! Yes, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> These bats. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm shooting three three arrows at the same time. It's because you can upgrade certain pieces of equipment, but you have to well. Sometimes it's easy, you just have to like pay some money, but like for the bow and arrows, for example, you have to pay money, but you also have to find a couple of ingredients to craft it, I suppose. You give it all to this guy, you pay him, and he makes it for you. But it's, it's very useful, it's very powerful, the bow and arrow. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah. As you can see, it's, it's very, very uh, SNES looking. <laughs> it's very I love it. It's it's pretty retro. I mean Really it really feels like it doesn't just look like the time, you know, it feels very much like that era Which is important because a lot of games just like they pixel or whatever, but it It's they're still very modern. It doesn't really feel like it doesn't feel retro Like there's a difference between looking and feeling retro But uh, this game does both Some of these, some of these enemies are just so damn annoying. Like that, that pain in the ass when he hits you with that magic spell. It makes you walk, like it reverses the direction of your controller pad and everything. Uh, that, oh, that's another thing too. Uh, it's this game fully supports game pads, and I, I really, well, I mean, maybe some people prefer playing with keyboard and mouse. But when I play games like this, I'd rather have a, you know, game pad. Like, I use the Xbox Elite controller, it works perfectly fine. But, um, I mean, I played it for a bit with the keyboard. But, uh, I don't know. Using, using the arrow, the, uh, like, stupid WASD keys, it's not as, just not as accurate or as fun as using an actual directional pad or 
analog stick, whatever you prefer. I'm just basically gonna go on a killing spree, collecting coins. Once you beat the game, you get this uh, special ring here, and you can just teleport from anywhere. I'm just going to jump to the end area. The wasteland. All the stupid orcs. I'm gonna put on the bomb so I can smash them good. <laughs> That's right. I can summon bees. <laughs> It's an item you get from a side quest. A lot, well, quite a few of the things you find, you find like nifty little things when you do side quests for certain people. They'll give you like, uh, they'll give you some consumable items or yeah, we're gonna fry some of these guys with magic, lightning. This is this is pretty much the best spell in the game for me, anyway. I mean. You don't even have to aim, you just run up, zap them. Problem is, it takes up a lot of your uh, green bar there, your energy. Some things explode. I'm just gonna heal up here. Because uh, you, you can, well, you only get it later on at the end of the game, but. Once you like, once you have full health, <laughs> you get this, you know, like a link beam. Looks very familiar. That's because it is. Well, at least it's familiar if you played any Zelda game before. It sounds cool too. These are these orcs are pretty annoying. They can block. Like sometimes you just hit them, hit them, hit them, they just block it all. That's why I prefer just blowing them up, to be honest. I just run around and I throw bombs everywhere. That's usually the two main things I have equipped are my bombs and my bow and arrow. They're pretty much, uh, they're, they're like the easiest to use. They don't take up too much of your energy bar. And uh, they're pretty devastating. I mean, especially once you upgrade them. Become a orc murdering machine. All right. So as I said, the name of the game is Blossom Tales: The Sleeping King. Uh, you can find it on Steam, and well, probably I think GOG and Humble they usually carry stuff like this too. That's pretty cheap right now. It's like maybe thirteen dollars, I believe. Last time I checked. It's around that area. Anyway, if you're interested, it's a pretty cool game. You can just check it out on Steam for yourself or wherever. And uh, I believe there's supposed to be a sale this weekend for it. It's supposed to be a little cheaper. So it'd be a good time if you're interested to buy it. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the next rest of the video, and I'll see you at the next video. Adios.